Well, a good Erev Shabbos to everyone. And uh, I'd like to share with you a Torah thought before we go into Shabbos. Our Torah portion begins this week, Baha'u'llah's when you raise up the lights of the menorah. Aaron is told that when you raise up those lights, when you light the menorah, Right, He's given instructions as how to do it. it it's worth noting that the term Baha'alosva is uh, very different than what we might have expected. We might have expected Lahadlik, that when you light the candles, not Baha'alosva, when you raise them up. Um, and uh, there's a rabbinic midrash which explains that Baha'alosva, when you raise them up, you have to light the candle in such a way where the candle can continue to burn by itself. It's not enough that there's a flame on the wick. The wick has to catch fire. It has to be something that will sustain. Um, this is a great challenge for all of us. Um, you know, it's very easy to just go through the motions, but to be passionate enough about Judaism that the flame remains lit as we pass it on to someone else or as there's someone else around us who sees what it means to be a Jew and what Judaism is. Um, those can be very, very challenging things. Maintaining our enthusiasm can always be a challenge, especially when we're doing, very often we're doing the same thing day after day after day. Maintaining our enthusiasm can really be a significant challenge. Um, it's very, very uh, hard to maintain our enthusiasm as well as we go Shabbos after Shabbos without being together. And yet, um, that's our challenge. Ba'alos Chal Sanei Ros is to maintain our enthusiasm and be certain that the people around us who see what we're doing Jewishly see us doing it with an enthusiasm which makes them say that there's a, there's a simcha sechayim, there's a, there's a joy to life that comes with being Jewish, which comes with being connected to our traditions, that comes with being connected to our congregation. And that joy of life is something which we really want to be able to communicate to others. Just going through the motions, maybe people will come and they'll go through the motions with us, if you will. They'll show up to a synagogue or they'll come to a simcha. Right? But, uh, so they'll go. They'll go. There was something going on, so they went. There was a fire burning, so they went to the fire. Okay, very nice. But to be able to really kindle the enthusiasm within other people requires more than that and uh, requires that we communicate that what we're doing is meaningful to us and brings a sense of joy and calm and peace into our lives, especially at this difficult time. So as we look forward, we're really getting closer and closer to being able to at least on some basis start shul again on Shabbos. And thank God we had beautiful morning minions on Monday and Thursday this week, which got us started moving in the right direction. Hopefully our enthusiasm can return so much of our enthusiasm comes from being together as a congregation. So much of my enthusiasm comes from being able to share Divrei Torah with you and to be with you and to celebrate with you and to mourn with you and to do whatever it is that I have to do and, and can do to be helpful. Um, and hopefully I do that with adequate enthusiasm. Uh, and I certainly strive to. And uh, I'm certainly getting very enthusiastic and very excited about coming back. And uh, I know that uh, over time, People will be able to return, some people sooner and some people later, but we'll be able to continue to build our congregation in the direction we were moving so strongly before uh, we had to take this break because of COVID-19, and we'll continue to move in that strong direction with confidence, with enthusiasm, and with making an impact on everyone around us. Shabbat Shalom.